Okay guys, uh, Dave from Reacted's back with another update. Um, this is the Homoeoma species blue little sling. This is uh, Topaz. Um, molted yesterday. There is the molt right there. I'm not even going to bother trying to open it up and check. It's just too small. You can see that it's in a matchbox car enclosure so you can see how, how small the little guy is. Uh, ready for a baseball cube though. Um, so it'll it'll get upgraded to a baseball cube in a few days. It is so windy here today Super windy um, Honestly, yeah, it's, it's this is really really windy, but uh, Yeah, so I, I wanted to just update that that guy there and then we'll do one more quick update um, That's something that I knew was coming and and it's uh, and, and I'll explain to you the dynamics of what one of the tarantulas has done and why. Um, but uh, I've had a very, very failing day of videoing anything. Um, I got everything set up. I got the red fangs down. I got the Selenocosmia pirbumi and the Serratajaris marshali and the Harpactera pulchropes and uh, the Brachypalma albiceps, all those little slings. I got them all down, got them all set up, got the camera set up, and got the fruit flies ready and was feeding. And I was talking and talking and, and going from, you know, enclosure to enclosure to enclosure. I was trying to do it all in one clip. So I just had everybody kind of ready and was just dumping in flies as I went. And I looked down as I was got done and I went to push the off button on the camera to stop filming. And I never pushed the on button to start filming. So I probably spent about 15 minutes talking to myself. Um, which isn't a bad thing. I talk to myself all the time. So we, we have some good conversations, myself and I. But, uh, yeah, so I was kind of distraught. That, uh, what, what happens is when the, the phone... I need to start taking the phone completely out of my OtterBox case. I usually just take the rubber part off and then leave the, the actual plastic case on it. So when I put it in the tripod, the tripod is a clamp tripod, so it kind of clamps down on the phone. And sometimes it pulls the plastic uh, screen protector up away from the screen a little bit. So when you touch it, um, you're not actually in contact with the touch screen of the phone. And I've had this happen a few times, and I generally am pretty good about paying attention to that, but this time I wasn't. So, yeah. Okay, so enough of this one. I will bring down the... Uh, Piece of the of Fusca female enclosure, and I will show you what happened there. Okay, so here is uh, Samira's enclosure. This is the Piece of the of Fusca female, and as you can see, um, she's built a dirt curtain from here all the way down to here. This is about seven, probably a good seven inches, maybe maybe six inches um, long. Um, there's some spots that you could see, you know, right here, you could see through. Um, right here you can see through and right here you can see through but she's in there in pre-molt this is what she does when she gets to be that point where she's getting ready to molt she builds herself a, a curtain to hide herself away and uh, generally she does that about a month before she molts and then she'll molt and about a month later she will come out um, generally I I kind of know when you know she's in that point um, and I'm always able to just get the molt out um, a lot of times she molts below uh, so she'll come out below her molt and the molt will be up above so I can just go down you know down like you know you'd say get down there and grab it pull it up well can't do that in this enclosure because of the cork bark going up as high as it does so I have to figure out alternative methods on how I'm going to get that out far from rotating the cork bark towards the front so I can actually get it and then I risk her running away. So um, I may have to kind of just tilt the cork bark out and get it at an angle. Um, I won't film that because I'll have to use two hands to do that. But uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens when she molds. I wouldn't expect to see anything from her till right around Memorial Day. It'd probably be when she's done molting and out and ready to eat again. Um, she usually takes about two months. Uh, and this has been 
pretty much steady the whole entire time I've had her for two and a half years. This is exactly what she does. Um, she's not on a schedule, of course, because she molts when she's ready to molt, but this is what she does, so you kind of know. You know, and this is my sign right here to stop feeding. Um, and she ate, what, about a week and a half ago, she had a uh, adult male red runner. Um, and then two days after that, she ate is when I found this. So this is just, again, if you can see, I don't know how well you can't. You're, you're just going to get reflections in my hand. Um, you can see it back inside there, but you can't see. Oh, there she is right there. You can see her abdomen right, right there. So I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on her, but uh, I wanted to show you, show her to you there. And um, yeah, the Belfouris are going crazy. They've been out all the time. At least two of them. They keep coming out, but I haven't seen the other two. So it's the same two that you guys saw yesterday in that feeding video that I did. Um, so for now, I'm just going to hang on to them. I'm not going to sell them right now. We'll have to see how everything goes. But uh, the, you know the. I have decided that uh, I am going to take the Afana Pelma Hensai pair and the Afana Pelma Simani pair to Ruth uh, in May at the Buffalo Show. Um, and th there was there was a one trench that I was going to get, but I, I, I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, I'm not really quite sure. I mean, I'd like to, but I'm just not sure that I want to get it because uh, one of my friends is getting one probably this weekend, and I don't want to mention that person's name because I think... Uh, they want to debut it, uh, you know, in a video, so I don't want to give that person's name away, but uh, or the, what kind of tarantula it is. But I think I'm going to hold off on getting that one. I think I'm going to definitely try and get uh, a, a Tarantulus cordatus or two, uh, and then I, I'm, I think I'm going to get another um, Tarantulus marina sling if I can find one, you know, like a half inch or three quarter inch sling, because mine have been pretty much grown, you know, since I started the channel and. I'd like to, to have a small one to grow up with the channel and, uh, you know, maybe even two and we'll experiment with them. You know, we'll set one up, uh, what they would consider semi arboreal arboreally or, you know, with a cork bark coming up and see how it takes to that versus digging. And then we'll set up normal, but it, that won't happen until of course they're, they're bigger, uh, cause it's kind of hard to do that stuff in these smaller enclosures. But, uh, yeah, so um, the, some other things I'm, I'm looking for, I'm definitely going to get the heteropodras, the lunula and the, David Bowie, um, one at least of each, maybe two. Um, I'm looking for the, as, as Petco calls them, the uh, spiny assassin guys. The, uh, I can't remember their, their common name, um, or the, not the common name, the scientific name or binomial name. Um, I'm probably going to look at a scorpion or two and maybe a centipede. So I may come back with other things other than tarantulas. Um, and it may be more of other things than actually tarantulas. I may only come back with a couple, a couple tarantulas. There, there's a few that I'm looking for, um, you know, and, and there's a few things that I would like to get. Um, I, I'd like to get a female Brachypelma emilia. That's kind of my goal. Um, again, I, I would love to, um, I'm going to show you guys some crazy behavior that's going on right now too. That's this happens, and if you pay attention to your tarantulas, they'll they'll tell you things. This has been going on uh, pretty much most of the day. If you look up there, that is the Aphonopelma annex, who has not has been sitting on the side of his enclosure for the last three or four days up in that corner. He is now digging. Okay, not only is he digging, but some tarantulas that haven't dug much of anything since I've had them. That gal or guy there, the Brachypelma emilia, is digging right there in the corner. And Obi, look at Obi. He's digging. Now, is this because of the uh, weather that's going on here? The high winds, the rain. Uh, we've had some serious rain over the last handful of days. So um, I, I've documented before. Um, during bad rainstorms here, last this was last year when I was filming um, some really bad rainstorms and watching all my arboreal tarantulas going like crazy. Uh, the Samopas Armenias, the Pisotherias were going crazy, and when I still had the Tapanikinias, um, they were all, and, and my Avicularis, they were all going kind of goofy with that serious rain. So 
but you know, it just makes you wonder um, why all of a sudden tarantulas that haven't moved dirt in eons are now all of a sudden trying to move dirt, and it's kind of interesting when you think about it, you know. There is the wonderful Salem. So I'll leave you guys with her, um, and, and uh, again, I'm just trying to throw these updates out there because I, I enjoy updates. Uh, they're one of my favorite things to watch, actually, when people update, you know, tarantulas that have molted or that have just molted. I love when Marilyn Moore does her update videos during the month. Um, you know, all the molts that she has and some that she's feeding that didn't feed last month because they were, you know, that a molted last month and, you know, just how things are progressing in her, you know, enclosure upgrades and stuff like that. I enjoy watching stuff like that. So I just assume that other people like like that. And, and I honestly, sometimes I feel invested in other people's collections of, of YouTube channels that I watch. So I would think that some other people feel that same way about this channel too. And I just like to keep everybody you know, abreast of what's going on and uh, any kind of weird changes. So hopefully we'll see some tarantulas molt soon. Um, hopefully real soon. A couple of them really, really need to. So I'll say goodbye for now and uh, we'll, we'll do another feeding video probably coming up real soon uh, in the next day or two and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and talk to you later.